Hey guys, I'm Matthew and I am one of the vocalists and uh, the rhythm guitarist of the band Pink Men. I'm Jairo Alvarado from the Pink Men and uh, welcome to my messy room of strings. Si Baile. Hi, I'm Mark and I play the bass, which as we all know is the most important instrument in any band ever. first instrument I learned how to play was actually a very uh, complicated instrument. And this is actually the recorder. Yeah, you know the recorder, uh, parang flute. My first instrument is actually not a guitar. It's actually drums. I was four or five years old. I tried to enroll in a summer class at our school for drums but I, I, I wasn't able to continue playing drums because I didn't have drums at home and dahil maingay sa bahay mag drums hindi ako binilhan ng drums Organ My organ There you go. My first instrument was the guitar or I think it was the piano I don't know uh, uh, What's my favorite song to play and why? Probably your name yeah, your name because it has like all the quiet parts and it has like the strong parts and it's really fun to play especially when the sound system is good. My favorite song is Light My Fire. To sing, to play guitar, to play keyboard, to play drums. I in Light My Fire talaga. Guitar solo, keyboard solo, a uh, banat na vocals, banat na drums. It's the best song, my favorite song. Caught up, kasi Aaron Spears. Sarap magwala eh, magwala lang. Pero di ko kaya ginagawa. So ay sure, yung Mary Ann, favorite ko yun. Kanta na kami nun eh, yung intro nun, di ko alam. Nahihilo ako eh. Hey, Nihihilo ko rin sila. It's our cover of Hot Dogs Manila. I like it because it's funky. Most fun gig or show? One of the gigs at Sagiho. It's a very uh, intimate setting, and when you know when you're playing on stage, you can really see because the, the audience is really uh, they sit really near the stage and on the floor because there's only a few tables and chairs in Sagiho, and you know it really feels intimate because you're surrounded by people. When they're listening and they're like really absorbing what you're playing and they're interacting, you're like really connecting on this level. Siguro the one that I really enjoyed na Pinkman gig was at the MRT uh, OPM busking. So uh, dalawa la ah, tatlo kami ni Matt and si ako si Matt tapos si Baile tapos sobrang wild lang noon na whatever na and tinutugtog namin na na, na na songs na iniimbento lang namin on the spot. So that was really fun. Lagi naman fun yung gig eh. kasi kasama ko sila. Lagi masaya. Pero masaya. Kapag pala yung bayad. Perfect. We are double single launch at Sagiho. Four was the hardest part about being a musician. Was having to unload all of my bandmates gear from my car after a gig. So yeah, that's right. All of you having to unload all of, all of your instruments from the back of my small Toyota Vios. No, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, well, for a serious answer to this, uh, the hardest part would probably be having to get over that perfectionist mindset. I'm not, you know, uh, I'm sure a lot of people in the music industry have this kind of mentality where you wanna make the most perfect thing you can make. Like, if you're gonna make something, it has to be perfect. Well, obviously, that's not a bad thing. It can be counterproductive. So, what happens is because you're trying so hard to be perfect, uh, you end up not being able to move forward. Like, you end up not being able to write that song because, you know, you're just overthinking everything you want to put in. Every step of the way, you're overthinking and you're like taking down what you write, placing stuff in and taking it down again because you're not satisfied. And most of the time, it just ends up making you not progress at all. Okay. The struggle. Hardest part about being a musician. Being a musician, <laughs> joke lang. Siguro yung practice, yun yung hardest part. Kasi uh, minsan may ideas ka na, na okay, pero hindi ka capable enough of executing those ideas. 
siguro yung isa pang part is actually acquiring those real instruments na gusto mo tugtugin. Because it's not always about just being able to sample these things or being able to uh, synthesize these. Meron talagang difference yung real instruments eh. So, ang hirap lang maka-acquire nun. Na, kunwari, uh, I wanna learn double bass. Where the hell am I gonna get a double bass, you know? And uh, kunwari, grand piano. If you wanna learn classical piano, you really need to have a grand piano. Besides that, uh, it's the practice and the instruments is actually being judged as a musician for doing things you love and just, you know, playing songs and playing music and then people hating on you for playing music. In their terms, it's like you're wasting your time if you're a musician. So that's kind of a big fuck you for us. So what would my dream gig be? A music festival abroad. That or a gig like those famous uh, snarky puppy live shows where everyone's wearing like headsets and it's like a really intimate atmosphere. But you can tell that everyone's really into it. The, the sound is probably super good. So I've thought about this and uh, siguro in the human history, yung pinaka dream gig talaga is yung live aid. Yung may Aerop, Aerop! May gano'n ni Freddie Mercury, yun talaga yung dream gig. Isipin mo, everyone is singing, everyone's calling and responding like, grabe, grabe yun. Sobrang amazing ng moment na yun in history. Yung malaking bayan, mga 1 million, gano'n, 10 million, 1 billion, bigay na lahat. <laughs> the dream gig ko would be at, uh, to play at NPR, Tiny Desk Concert. Probably say sight. Well, obviously, I'd still be alive if I go blind, but but inside, I'm not sure if I'll be so alive. For me, sight talaga eh. Parang okay na mabingi ako, alam ko na yung tunog niyan. Pero pag hindi ako makakita, someone can punch my face, you know? <laughs> I don't want someone to punch my face. Touch. Because I need your touch. Hearing. So, so we all know patis, right? Uh, yung patis, uh, kung maganda yung quality, hindi siya mabao. You know, it, it has that funky smell, the usual funky smell, but it doesn't, it's not like re- repulsive. Pero may isang brand ng patis na talaga mabaho talaga. As in, kasi di ba normally yung mga ibang foods na, na may smell, it's like, it's good when you eat it, but it kind of tastes bad. It's good when you eat it, but... Kind of tastes bad. No, I mean, it's good when you eat it, when you taste it, but it smells bad. Itong patis na to, it just, it just really smelled bad. I seem like I couldn't get over the, the smell. So, yeah. Patis. <laughs> Sobrang baho. Siguro depende rin sa patis, hindi ko alam. Buro. Pero, masarap yun. Aksil. Sorry. In the event of an apocalypse, what three places are you going to get? Uh, going to first to gather supplies. First one, I think what would be better is to go to a convenience store because even though it's small and doesn't have as much supplies as a grocery, uh, it has a lot of non-perishable goods, and you can exit it faster than if you were in a grocery. And then the second place would probably be a car dealership because. For sure, they have heavy-duty cars, like commerce, trucks. I think those are the ones that I need. And lastly, I am going to Mark's house. I'm going to look for his bag. Because here's a fun fact. If you see Mark carrying his bag, you can guarantee that he has at least three different brands of crackers inside. But that's a life hack when you're with Mark. So Mark, yeah, a shout out to, your, to you and your crackers. Siguro ko seryoso talaga Mercury Drug nakatapat lang namin tapos yung SM nakatapat ng Mercury Drug tapos yung katapat ng SM na budget lane <laughs> yun talaga like sulit na yun man magkakalapit lang yun kung sa supplies talaga pupunta akong ano punta ako Santa Mesa kuha ako ng guitar whatever or kaya punta ako sa JB Music sa EDSA <laughs> baka kailangan ng ano eh kailangan na extra strings for the apocalypse Hardware, butika, ito ka, then 
Ang nasasabihin ko nalang yung grocery, a hardware grocery. Sa ano? Hardware grocery. Ito na yung isa. Shopee, Lazada, Grab Food. My legal song is by the band Keen. It's called Somewhere Only We Know. And uh, the reason why it's my legal song was because that's what I'd always be playing in the car nung nililigawan ka pa yung girlfriend ko. So, uh, shout out kay Jazz. What is your legal song or legal song? I am not sure. Pero kung legal, I'm gonna go the traditional route na dungawin mo hirang. Kung legal ka, siguro cosmic shame talaga. Cosmic shame ng Tineus D. Most Beautiful Girl in the Room by Flight of the Concords. You like that. Number five, who is my celebrity crush? Natalie Portman. She went to like Stanford University. And she's an Academy Award winning actress. That was not to mention, it's like she ages in reverse. Like the, the older she gets, parang lalo pa siyang bumabata, bumaganda. So, celebrity crush, Liza Soberano. <laughs> siya lang, joke lang. Siya, siya, basta cute si Liza Soberano. Si Sura Mires. Kasi ano eh, meron siyang kaabig na crush ko talaga. Celebrity crush ko si Dua Lipa and si Saoirse Ronan. Hello, Dua and Saoirse. If you're watching. <laughs> what are your thoughts on pineapples on pizza? Uh, is this actually a legit problem? Did people just start assessing their stand on this when it became like a trend? It's a non-issue. Healthy yun, okay naman yung lasa niya, pampatamis ng pizza. <laughs> People hate on pineapples but I don't see the difference between a pineapple and a tomato because they're both fruits. So whatever. Ang problema nun. Basta libre eh. Okay na lang. I don't recognize its existence eh. Number 7, pinaka nonsense na advice. If you find yourself having to release a fart in public, all you have to do is cover your eyes. Because that way, nobody can see you. They, they wouldn't know who you are. Kung wala ang brief, gumamit ka na medyas. Anything is possible if you wish hard enough. That's not how life works, guys. Bye. Salamat po sa inyong pakikinig. And goodbye.